Hey everybody, welcome back to my jewelry design course. This is lesson two, and in lesson two, we'll be covering the add-ons needed for the Blender design class. These add-ons are necessary to use this course. Um, I'll be referring to them quite often. The first, that's the main important one, is the Jewelcraft add-on that we'll be covering in uh, a very short while. There'll be some other add-ons that we need to activate or install, and I'll be walking you through those in this video. So let's get started. Okay, so first and foremost, we have to install the Jewelcraft add-on for Blender. Jewelcraft is an add-on written by a young Russian man who uh, obviously does jewelry design and, ju and custom jewelry, much like I do. And this add-on makes life so much easier in the jewelry design application of Blender. So we're going to go ahead and install that. You're going to go to this website, which is github.com. If you can't find this on GitHub, you can do a, a search any search engine and just do a search for Jewelcraft for Blender and this link will come up. When you come to this link, you can download the code right here. So you can come over to uh, the green button here, code, and then download the zip file. Please remember that when downloading add-ons for Blender, they are compressed as a zip file. You do not have to expand them or uncompress them. Leave them as zip files and use the, uh, the preferences tab to install the add-ons. Uh, Blender 4.2 changes a little bit of how this works, but I like to have a hard copy on my computer too, just to make sure that um, I always have access to it. If you don't want to, Blender 4.2 now has changed the way it installs add-ons, and we can come down here, just scroll down on the page here, and you'll see how to install. And you'll see this drag and drop link into Blender. So you can move your file browser over to the side, and if you've got Blender running in the background, um, or you know, just make sure it's not maximized over so you can see it. We're going to drag, the, we're going to left click on this link and drag this into Blender. What it's going to do then is follow a few installation procedures for the add on itself. And here it'll ask you, do you want to install the following add on? Jewelcraft repository by the gentleman who wrote it, how big it is, enable add on. We're, of course, we want it enabled. We're going to hit OK and let that work. Now, if Jewelcraft is installed correctly on the end tab panel, you'll see a Jewelcraft tab here. And that's all that we need to do. If it's installed correctly, you're ready to go. And I will be walking you through in another lesson all of these features in Jewelcraft. But right now we're going to focus solely on the add-ons that we need to have for this jewelry design course. Let me just minimize these here. And I'm going to go back to my items tab. The next part is activating the built-in add-ons in Blender because the rest that we have, we are going to be using uh, pretty much everything that's built into Blender. Blender comes, well, it doesn't come with the add-ons anymore. Blender 4.2, um, they're out in the cloud and you can install them right from your computer. So let's go ahead and start that. To get to that place, we're going to hit the edit menu, come down to preferences. In the preferences window, I'm just going to bring this in the center and I'm going to expand it a little bit so we can see it. Now, if you remember from the previous uh, lesson, we covered most of everything else, but here we're going to cover extensions and add-ons. So when you click on the add-ons, you'll get a list of everything that's installed in Blender. If it has a check mark like this one here does, it means it's active. If it has no check mark in the little box, it means it's not active but installed on your computer. First and foremost, let's go to the Get Extensions. You can see here we've already uh, we, we've already installed Jewelcraft and it's highlighted here. We don't need to do anything with, else with that. In Blender 4.2, the top part of this panel will show you what you have installed. And the second half of this panel will show you what's available. So anything that's installed on your computer that's an add-on or an extension will show up in add-ons. And anything that's not installed here will show up on the bottom half of this panel. So let's go to uh, let's go through the available add-ons that are in Blender, and I will walk you through those. If some of them don't appear here, it's because I may have inadvertently already added them. But for the most part, we're going to look for certain things here. From the top down, um, I will stop at everyone we need to add on to Blender. So bear with me. We have modifiers list fork. We can install that if we want. We can activate it or deactivate it later. Please remember that you also have to make sure that you are uh, 
you have access to the online system here. A lot of times, <clears throat> if you don't have that, you'll get a little box up in the top that says give access for Blender to the internet. And if you don't have any access, you won't see any of those install buttons. So just remember to give access to the internet for Blender in the preferences tab. Okay, so we've installed the uh, modifiers forklift fork list and that's active let's see here uh, increment auto save uh, i'm going to leave that off for now we may cover that later and let's just keep going here bulltron or boolean tools we'll get we're going to get to that bulltron is another add-on that is made by the same person who makes jewelcraft you can install that and i kind of recommend it it has a, a few features on it that are better than Blender's built-in one. However, Blender's built-in Boolean tools um, are very good now. But just in case, we'll go ahead and install that. And you'll see now it's up at the top. I'm going to keep scrolling down. And hopefully we can find where we left off. 3D Print Toolbox. That's always a good one to install. F2. F2, I'll explain in more detail as we go along. But F2 allows you to add faces to uh, to a set of two or more edges or vertices where you want to link or like cover a hole in a, in a mesh and i'll cover that later when we're working with modeling but we're going to go ahead and install f2 loop tools um i don't use loop tools a lot but we're going to go ahead and install those anyway because it's a good one to have in there for modeling extra curve objects if you see this one, install it because we're going to need extra curve objects. And let's keep going down here. Okay, alignment tools, we're going to install that. And you'll notice sometimes this wants to go back to the top, sometimes it doesn't. Bool tool is, boole is Blender's built in Boolean functions. We're going to go ahead and install those. Okay, edit mesh tools. We're going to install those. And you can see we shot up to the top, so let's go back down. And extra mesh objects. We're going to want to install those. So find those. And if and if you do go up to the top, you can always search for something here. We could search by uh, a name or something, and it'll, it'll bring up just those functions. I'm going to keep scrolling down here. Uh, let's see here. We've been here. Extra paper, no. Grease pencil tools, no. Tissue, no. ND. ND is an add-on for modeling, and I'll use it occasionally, so I go. I want you to go ahead and install that. And you can see it installs it here, and we're going to go back down to where we left off. Tissue icon, 3D, high menus, sun position we're not going to use. Uh, let's see here. Um, bulk asset tools, no. That's what else? Bolt factory. We want to add bolt factory. And I'll go through these later and explain to you what they are in the add ons. Uh, mesh align, auto tracking. No, we don't need that. That's more for animations and VFX. Uh, let's see here. Um, keep going here just to find more anything else that I've missed here. STL format legacy. You're going to want to go ahead and install that because we'll be exporting our models in STL files. <clears throat> Oh, anything else here? Modifier tools. If you see one called modifier tools, go ahead and install that. Scene collection, object rules, carver. Oh, measure it. We may use measure it or not. We don't have to, and I don't use it a lot for my modeling, but uh, maybe down in, later on in some of the courses we'll cover that. Curve tools. We'll want to add curve tools in, so install that. Delete, and that should be it. Okay, so now with those installed, everything that you have installed is going to be listed at the top, and these are the add-ons that we're going to need for this course. 
So just make sure that the built-in Blender add-ons and Jewelcraft is installed and listed here. Now you can go into add-ons and you can see these are all the add-ons that are installed on my computer and I can go ahead and turn them on and off as needed. Um, some of these I have here are paid add-ons and, and because they're not part of the jewelry course, I'm not going to be covering those. Pretty much everything that's activated is part of the uh, things that you'll need for the course. You can see here I accidentally installed two Bulltrons. That's okay. We'll leave one off. Um, curve tools, cycles, render, edit meshes, extra objects, the face tools. That's it right now. That's everything that you're going to need to have installed in Blender. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Save preferences, and if you have auto save checked, every time you close this window, it'll auto save your preferences. But I like to save just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, and now you can see we have a variety of more tabs in our end tab panel. And we have Bultron here. We already know we have, we installed Jewelcraft. We have our 3D print box tool here, and I'll show you how to use that. And then we have the ND tools, which we'll be using some of these functions, but not all of them further on in the course. If that makes sense, guys, I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. Those are the add-ons we need to use in Blender for the jewelry design course. And I hope this helped you. Let's move on to the next lesson. In lesson three, we're going to be covering uh, understanding the 3D view space and uh, kind of how to maneuver around within it. Thank you for watching and take care.